This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Are you alright, Sebastian? It's like a monkey. He looks a little worse for wear. Why were you tied up in a place like this? How should I know? You, you guys don't know anything about me! It's because we don't know. That's why we're asking you. He's completely shut off his heart. Indeed. If it's come to this... Logic chess with the I best? I suppose I have no choice but to use that. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, you mean... I hate to do this when he's in such a fragile state. It's like kicking a man who's down. <sighs> well, will he be alright? His mind might break if you corner him too much, you know? Yes, I am aware of that. I will try to be careful. Good grief. I wonder how this will turn out. What the heck? I've never held back against anyone before. This is the toughest logic chess for sure. Really? Yeah, and trying to do logic chess with someone who's kind of mentally unstable sounds like hell. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. After running out of me me the meeting room this morning, why would he be here of all places? Oh, right! His his dad uh, banished him this morning. Where he, yeah, he's basically like, you're not my son. And then that he was ran this off morning, crying. that wasn't yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Y you guys, you don't know how I feel! Oh, jeez. He's gone through a lot of shock. He must be on the verge of an emotional meltdown. It can't be helped. At times like this, I must quietly listen to what he has to say. Okay. No one tells me anything! I'm always the one being left out like this, like an idiot! Oh, I hate that sprite. Uh, that actually makes me sad. Yeah, this poor kid. I should try to answer his questions as best as I can. That's always the thing that I think about when people annoy me so much. Like, in life, random mm -hmm. people where I'm like, you don't, you don't know what they've gone through. Yeah. And I feel like most of the time when people are kind of annoying or, like, exhibiting that kind of behavior, it's like, you learn to do that mm -hmm. based on how you, people reacted to you as a kid right. or whatever. Considering how fragile he is, I won't have much time to spare. I'll need to ask about his true feelings and try to calm him you down post-haste. You have five seconds to push the button! <laughs> Begin logic chess. Wow! <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you what's on your mind. What's on your mind? Could you please tell me what's on your mind? Uh, I don't wanna! It's not like you listen to me anyways! Be quiet. What? What's wrong? Normally you'd be shouting OBJECTION right about now! OBJECTION. Do you understand? You have been cornered. Oh, okay. Ah, ah, please stop it already! Just leave me alone already! I I can't trust anyone anymore. Curses! If I make any pointless remarks, his mind will break. Even so, he's someone that cries that easily. Whether he's feeling down or he's losing his temper. He'll be crying either way, so I won't be able to tell the difference. I should try reading the emotion and what he's saying. Okay. What's on your mind? Um... Oh, wait and see? You're serious? You, you're really gonna listen to what I have to say? I can understand the shock you went through after what happened with your father. It wasn't just Pops! This morning, I... I lost everything! Everything I have was given to me by Pops. D tell me, Mr. Edgeworth. J just what am I supposed to believe in? In yourself? Believe in yourself, but that's the place to start. Yeah. <laughs> if, I can't be if you can't believe in others, then at least believe in yourself. You'll need to gain experience on your own, but if you require wisdom, I can lend you a hand. This is a very different logic chess. Yeah, most of the time you're trying to make them go crazy. In this one, we're like trying to bring them up. Yeah. Ever since I got locked up, I've been thinking, am I too inculpable to be a prosecutor? Uh, incapable? Um, which one was it? Incapable? I believe incapable is the word you are looking for. Judging your own ability is not an easy task. Sebastian, 
Little by little, you are growing. Sebastian, would you tell me your side of the story? Uh, I understand. What should I talk about? Hmm. He seems to have calmed down slightly. I'd like you to tell me everything about what you know about the kidnappers. Boom. Now then, tell me what you heard and saw. Oh, uh, um, why were you tied up in your own home? Why were you tied up in your own home, of all places? Th that's what I'd like to know! I'm the victim here! How would I know? Uh, wait and see. Uh, I was really scared being locked up alone, you know! Hmm, did your abductors happen to say anything to you? I don't really get it, but one of them said, Don't blame us, blame the owner of this house! Uh, now you're annoying me! What? You just came no. to laugh at me, didn't you? No. Uh, c calm down! It seems I waited a little too long. Yeah, it's tough. This mm -hmm. one's tough. Even so, he's someone that cries easily, yeah. All right. Okay, we'll do that again. The owner blazed the best. The owner of this house, wouldn't that be blazed the best? Huh? P pops Ah! Uh, I get it! Someone who hates Pops must have taken me hostage! No, considering the situation, that seems unlikely. The connection between Blaze and the kidnappers. This could be a useful clue. Uh, who kidnapped? Do you have any idea who the kidnapper could be? Uh, of course I don't! If I did, I would have told you already! Let me try using that clue. A kidnapper can easily use his own home to hold someone captive. Sebastian, you were kidnapped by your own father. What? It can't be. Was he going to kill me because because I was a nuisance? <laughs> I mean, should I say of course not? Would there be any reason for him to take your life? If his son was found dead in his own garage, Blaze would be suspected immediately. <laughs> I see! Th then, why was I kidnapped? Kidnapping his own son. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be after any ransom money. There must be some other reason why Blaze ordered the kidnapping. This could be a useful clue. I did the right order, at least. You did. Do you know what the kidnapper's objective was? What are you saying? What else would a kidnapper want besides a ransom? Let me try using that clue. <laughs> Perhaps we could ransom us. <laughs> Kidnapping his own son in order to demand a ransom wouldn't make much sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Did you notice anything strange when you got kidnapped? Uh, as soon as I answered that question, they just took me away. What did they ask you? <laughs> you sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> they asked you a question. Tell me what they asked you. Wah! D don't glare at me like that! Um, I think they asked me, do you know Courtney? I see. The pieces of the puzzle are starting to fall into place. Do you know Courtney? Yeah, I know, uh, Courtney... Oh yeah, I know Panchito. Shelby Courtney. <laughs> Courtney Panchito? <laughs> <laughs> The, the random rooster from Free Cup of Year. Yeah, that's his daughter. <laughs> Courtney Panchito, I don't know. We're, not, we're not, just gonna ignore that. I don't know. <laughs> Blaze and the kidnappers did not intend to kidnap you. Their objective was John Marsh. They were planning to kidnap Judge Courtney's son. In order to have Patricia Rowland declared not guilty. Ju Justine has a son? And Warden Rowland gets declared not guilty? I suspect the kidnappers mistook you for John Marsh. Uh, all of this was just a mistake? Wait, maybe that's why back then... Hmm? Did you just remember something? N no it's nothing. I'm useless anyways. Just leave me alone already. This is bad. He might be at his emotional limit. I must get him to tell me what he remembered and try to calm him down as well. Oh jeez. Based on how distressed Sebastian looks right now, it must have been quite traumatic. I'll need him to help him get back on his feet. What did you remember just now? 
<laughs> I didn't remember anything about that guy. Wait and see. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> now you're ignoring me. You came to laugh. You came to laugh at the fallen prosecutor. <laughs> Blaze. Would that guy happen to be Blaze? <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> oh, so this is the difference between me and someone who earned his prosecutor title. I've been wanting to ask you, why did you become a prosecutor? What does it matter? I'm not fit to be prosecutor anyways! Uh, wait and see. T say something! You must have some reason for choosing this path, right? N no it's not like that. It wasn't anything special. I became a prosecutor for a really insignificant reason! Uh, I uh, wait see? I think he's gonna cry at me. It was just a personal reason. Heh. <laughs> just like you, I too became a prosecutor for a personal reason. Huh? I is that true? B but you're a really successful prosecutor! I, I'm sure that Pops, the BIC chairman, would have been more proud of you than me. You wanted your father's approval? I see. So you wanted your father's approval. Oh! I thought that if I became the best prosecutor, he'd be proud of me! That's why I... I just wanted to help out Pops as much as I could! Would you happen to be protecting your father? What? I, I don't have any reason to protect someone like him. Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't know. Do something. Didn't you want to help out your father as much as you could? <laughs> just once. I only want him to be useful to Pops just this once. That way... I could help him regain his reputi repetition. I think you mean reputation. You seem to be mixing up your words again. The word you're looking for is reputation. Huh? N no one's ever told me that before. Your father, who has strayed from his path, continues to add to his crimes. Even knowing that, do you truly want things to stay the way they are? But, in that case, just what am I supposed to do? You should triumph over your father, who has treated you like a fool. You must stop Blaze before he commits another crime. I never thought of it like that. I... I want to triumph over Pops! Somehow, it seems he has calmed down once again. Now is my chance to ask him about Blaze's secret. I will give Sebastian the courage to stand up to his father. Um... Where's the evidence for the trial? It seems that the evidence regarding Patricia Rowland never made it to the trial. It's the duty of a prosecutor to watch over the evidence. Did you take it care of it properly? But that's not it! Just listen to what I have to say! Listen. I thought I would keep it in the safest place I knew. <laughs> what have I done? I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. Um, what is Blaze's Patricia's connection? Was there some connection between your father and Patricia Rowland? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't really know. Every tiny bit helps. Can you remember anything at all? Did you come over for dinner once? <laughs> um, I think sometimes they would interact with each other during work, but... But, is there something else on your mind? Apparently, Pops is the one who recommended Roland to be the warden. Oh, was there a reason Blaze got to recommend her? Probably because, unlike me, Pops actually cares about her. Um, wait and see. Well, Pops has known her since she he first became the chief prosecutor after all. What was he like when he was the chief prosecutor? Oh, Pops was amazing! He'd look over every single piece of evidence that went through the prosecutor's office. He looked over every single piece of evidence? This could be a major clue. He 
put it in the safest place he knew. Hmm. He seems to have become unsettled again. I suppose I should lend him a hand. The place you fought would be the safest. Would that have been in Blazed Best's hands? Uh -huh. <laughs> he told me that it would be safer if he took care of the evidence! I'm sorry, but he has betrayed your trust in the worst way possible. Pops! Why would he want to hide the evidence? Did the trial undecided? Blaze's objective was to have Warden Roland found not guilty by obscuring the truth. Sebastian, you were used by your father. <laughs> it's possible that Blaze de Best has the evidence with him. Furthermore, we still have no idea where John is. I must return to my investigation post-haste. However, this... This is all my fault! What am I gonna do now? Seeing him like this, I can't just leave him be. He's still suffering in the gap between his ideal and reality. He will never move on until he figures out how to live his own life. Sebastian is about to face his greatest trial. Perhaps this is fate. I shall give him the push forward that he needs. Edgeworth's mini, uh, uh, what is it called? Therapy session. Yep. Which one? Will you continue to be a prosecutor? Do you still intend to continue as a prosecutor? I don't really know. It's not like I became a prosecutor on my own. Because of that, do I even have the right to continue being a prosecutor? Whether or not you continue as a prosecutor is something you must decide for yourself. Wah! -ha! Only you can determine your path in life. I don't want to stop being a prosecutor. Because if I give up now, I know I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. So, he wants to continue to live as a prosecutor. I shall keep his will in mind. Will you walk the same path as your father? Will you continue to ignore the truth, just like your father? Please, stop it already! I, I don't want your putty! Just leave me your alone! Your putty? What do you mean pity? I believe pity is the word you're looking for. Oh, r really? I also have my own reasons for wanting to speak with you. There was a time when I too did not seek the truth and continued to run away from it. However, thanks to a certain friend, I was able to realize my mistake. That's nice! You're lucky, Mr. Edgeworth! I don't have anyone like that! I will show you the way. <laughs> I can show you the world. If you have the courage to stand up, I will show you the way. This is getting good. Yeah. What? what? Only if you have the will for it, though. This is where the case starts getting really good, in my opinion. I... I don't want to be like Pops! So, he wants to surpass his own father. I understand his feelings clearly now. Sebastian says that he wants to surpass his father and continue to be a prosecutor. In other words, he wants to be a different prosecutor from his father. It's the first answer he's arrived at on his own. I'm sure if he has the will, he'll find his way. What are you going to do? What do you plan to do from here on? You did really good at the logic chesses, by the way. Really? Yeah, you pretty much got the ideal path almost every time. Which is hilarious because <laughs> in real life, I never would. Yeah, Every I time know. I try to match someone else's logic, oh, I feel I, like... Oh, I, I failed would. on this so many times. What do you plan to do from here on? F first, I I'm returning this red jacket. I'm not fit to wear it. That's a jacket? <laughs> Clothes fake the man. I think that's what Pops used to say. He knew all along I was a fake. Close, make a man. <laughs> no, wait and see. No, and now you're ignoring me. Yeah, the red, I, the red thing on him is a jacket. I thought it was a cape. <laughs> I mean, I he wears he, it like a cape. I thought he was wearing a cape the entire time. If it's clothes, make the man. It's not fake. The saying is clothes make the man. You are what you wear. That's a terrible saying, though. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. I've learned something new yet again. D yes, all you have to do now is become a prosecutor who is fit to wear that jacket. Yeah, I'll do my best. That way no one will ever make fun of me again. Wait and see. 
Sometimes it's really obvious when to wait and see, and other times it's not. But how can I get p people to accept me? Hmm, what do I do? I, I don't know what to do. For goodness sake, don't you remember your own words? Perhaps his own will can show him the way. As a prosecutor, didn't you want to walk a different path from your father? Certainly, the path you have chosen is not an easy one. Nevertheless, you still chose to live as a prosecutor. In that case, it should be clear to you what you need to do. I still question how I will live my life to this day. But you, Sebastian, have found your own answer. So believe in yourself, Prosecutor de Best. Just like Christopher I Robin. <laughs> you must believe in yourself. yourself. He was mistaken for John and kidnapped by Blaze's underlings. And after his father stole his evidence, he lost his confidence as a prosecutor. The emotions he is going through must be more painful than anything I could imagine. I don't know. You lost your father in, in the, the elevator. Yeah. And then you were abused by your mentor, Von Karma. And now you have to deal with his obnoxious offspring. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think you kind of know. <laughs> it's taken longer than I thought. But with that, it's checkmate. Meanwhile, Kay's just like, can I say something? <laughs> oh, Kay's still here? Logic chest complete! Kay left the board. And that, I believe, I believe that's the last logic chest of the game. Dang. Ah, 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 Darn it! He dashed out of here at full speed. It seems if there's one thing he's the best at, it's running away. April 6th, 1.15pm. Thanks, thanks for taking us on the taxi. <laughs> wow, you're a great driver. Just doing my job. Just Take it easy. Alright. Curses! We're running out of time. Yeah, it's three. Yeah, okay, this is the to-be-continued area that's like two hours or three hours long. But I think we're close to the end of it. We should check in with Mr. Shields. I'd also like to know what the situation is like on their end. But Mr. DeBest ran off again. We'll just give them the new information we discovered. Francisco will take his place. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to be enough. It can't be helped. Since he ran away, there's nothing more we can do. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll just say it again. If there's no murder weapon, you can't prove the defendant is guilty. Just because we don't have the murder weapon doesn't mean the defendant is innocent. It seems you wish to taste the sting of my whip. Yeah! Mr. Attorney, this trial, how much longer will it take? Because it feels like it hasn't gone anywhere for a good while now. Well, uh, sorry, but that stubborn prosecutor over there just doesn't seem to understand. Until I am satisfied. This whip will lash out at you as many times as I see fit. By now she's probably whipped me once for every year I've been alive. Miles, what's taking you so long? Even though we're just stalling for time, Uncle Ray can't keep this up much longer. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Whoops, <laughs> excuse me, phone call. Mind if I take this in court? I will allow it. Thanks, Courtney. What's up? Mr. Shields? Oh, Miles, it's you. How's it going over there? I'm doing FaceTime, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we Here's Courtney. <laughs> She's like up there with her gavel. <laughs> we found Sebastian. Oh, and the Nathan Chisel. It seems he handed the evidence over to Blaze de Best. It's very likely that Blaze knows the whereabouts of the murder weapon. Ex-chairman de Best? But why would Blaze? That, I don't know yet. However, there may be some hidden connection between Patricia Rowland and Blaze. Gotcha. In that case, I'll issue a subpoena for Blaze the best right away. I'll grill him personally. I will continue to search for the missing evidence. And for John as well. Try to hurry it up, would ya? We're at our wits end over here. Feels like the verdict could be handed down at any moment. Understood. You said all that out loud in court, by the way. <laughs> How much longer can Judge Courtney's heart hold out? I know she's in a lot of pain. I've got to hurry. 
So, how's the trial going? Blaze will be taking the stand. I don't know how things will turn out, though. He'll do anything from hiding evidence to kidnapping. He really is nothing but trouble. I agree. We should probably take another look at the evidence concerning him. Okay, leave it to me. First, he here's the latest evidence fresh from the scene. There, the gloves from earlier. Although I am certainly curious about them. Anything else? The case files from the IS-7 incident. If I recall, Blaze was also involved in this, right? Indeed. He was involved in destroying the evidence. For now, let's keep this on hand. IS-7 incident documents jotted down in my organizer. Now then, is there anything else? I wish the taxi would take us to Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Miles, you're supposed to be finding evidence, but the, but it's the blizzard of the month is mint Oreo. <laughs> we have to go! <laughs> <laughs> of course! Last but not least, we've got this. This is the Yadagarasu's badge. Okay. I'm talking about things related to Blaze. Please be serious. But aren't you always going around presenting random evidence too, Mr. Edgeworth? Gah! No! Well, that's... Hmm? Isn't that... Sebastian? Oh. Oh, why am I on it? <laughs> what are you doing here? Whoa! He ignored us, and he just sonic ran away. <laughs> he came out of the Grand Tower. What was he doing in there? Let's go investigate what Mr. DeBest was up to. Yes, let us go. The the very super sound Grayson. No, not that song. Not that song. But <laughs> hmm. The hatch is open. Uh, maybe Mr. DeBest who opened it. Hop down the chute. Did Sebastian come in here? Mr. Edgeworth over there. The safe's open. Did he come here to open that? Let's examine it thoroughly. He really put all of the evidence in there. Oh, yep. There's something inside the safe. Let's go it's ahead and have a look. The evidence. There are some documents in here. Hmm, it's just a bunch of papers and a chessboard. There's a photo in here, too. Hmm? This is a picture of. <gasps> That's Mr. Knightley! Horace Knightley, the president's bodyguard. Why is his picture here? And what are all these papers for? I don't know. We will have to read the documents to find out. I'm all but certain there is a connection between Knightley and Dogen. Dogen's chess partner, whose identity remained unknown until now- We already made this conclusion! Was actually Knightley all alone. That is proof enough. Tomorrow, I shall interrogate him in the warden's office. I'll get him to confess that he's one of Dogen's henchmen. That thing he laid to rest near the flower bed 12 years ago. You simply must retrieve it. This seems to be a report about Knightley. Oh, that wasn't him talking. No, no, that's him reading a oh, report. Oh, not to mention, this was apparently written before Knightley was killed. Horace Knightley was murdered while he was being interrogated in the warden's office. I love how all the cases are tying together now. Uh-huh, it's really good. Judging from the contents, this document was probably written by Patricia Rowland. I knew it! The question, however, is who this report was addressed to. Ah, uh, the owner of the safe is... The conductor. Blaze de Best. So this proves that Miss Rowland and Blaze are connected. Indeed. However, it's not just the two of them. Mm -hmm. Blaze de Best and Patricia Rowland were searching for Dogen's henchmen. Sir Dogen? That Doug... The Doug? Doug. The Doug. <laughs> Remember Doug on Disney Channel? Yeah, he became Dogen. Just put Doug's face over the dog. I don't have that power of anything. You don't have that power of anything? Unless I can find a transparent vein of Doug's face. <laughs> <laughs> if I can, I'll put that in, That dog-loving assassin. This means that there is a hidden connection between the three of them. I wonder what it could be. I don't know, but it must be related to this case. Report on Nightly, jotted down in the organizer. Ooh, well, this must, there must be some other stuff in here that I remember seeing. Man, Kay really needs to have some coffee. Kay really needs a nap. <laughs> I hate coffee. Coffee's kind of gross. I don't like coffee either. Hmm? There's something on his finger. Let's have a close look. Wait, it looks like an expensive ring. Don't steal it. What? I didn't do anything yet. It's Horace Knightley's 
The chessboard and the ring. All of his possessions are inside this safe. So basically, all of this stuff is evidence from the prison case. Correct. Then the knife and the chisel that vanished might be in here too. Let's see, Mr. Knife, Miss Chisel. Mm, they're not in there. I guess this is all just Mr. Knightley's stuff. I see. That's too bad. Horace Knightley is dead. Edgeworth! This game isn't over yet! You hear me? Breaking the fourth I, wall. I... However, the game is not over yet. Unless I can see it through to its end. Knightley's mementos data jotted down in the organizer. 